Okay, just want to make a quick video about the recent change to the coup situation in Niger. For those who don't know, there was a coup in Niger where the democratically elected president was overthrown by a military junta. And we, of course, as America, we have to support the democratically elected president. And there was an appeal to try to get him put back in and have the junta step down. There was something that was supposed to be carried out in Nigeria by ECOWAS. Uh, that didn't change anything. The junta is still in power. And I keep saying junta. Maybe they say junta, but junta is how they always said it whenever it happened in Central and South America. Regardless, uh, this change means that perhaps the U.S. is going to wind up getting their troops out of bases in Niamey and Agadez. Niamey is down in the south. That's the capital city. Outside there, there's a military base, likely where that drone base is. Um, and then there's another one up in Agadez, which is sort of in the middle of nowhere. And anybody stationed there is probably glad to get out of there, but that's besides the point. The Americans were hoping to keep drones there to help fight terrorism. Terrorism, which was dormant for so many years until the Americans decided to knock down Gaddafi and his weapons went willy-nilly all over North Africa. And of course, these sort of dorm dormant terrorist actors wound up getting fresh supplies of weapons and now they've been causing problems ever since. In 2007, we had about two, well, about, about a dozen uh, terrorist acts, 2007, 2008 per year. And now they're up to several thousand a year of terrorist acts, shootings, ambushings, bombings, you name it. Um, when they have the availability, these groups with grievances are more able to carry them out. So anyway, they are debating right now the possibility of pulling out the U.S. drones from Niamey and Agadez bases. So what about the drones themselves? Well, since they've already discussed moving out of there, uh, who knows what their plans actually are, but you can be sure they're likely scheduling some cargo planes to move those larger drones, raptors, and whatever else out uh, as much as they can. They don't really want to leave things behind and do another Afghanistan, but who knows? Maybe they're not doing anything. Maybe they think this will resolve itself, and then in the last minute they'll have to leave in a hurry and all this stuff gets left, left behind. Don't know. Are the Americans going to be gone for good? Hard to say, but I think if they pull out and the Russians and Chinese are moving in, it's going to be a bit awkward to get them to be allowed to, to allow the Americans back in. So I think once they're gone, if they're gone, it may be for good. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, can Wa Wagner use uh, Wagner Wagner use the uh, the bases? They can. Uh, do they have drones? Not native. No, those are supplied by the Russians if they do have them at all, and probably smaller ones. You know, for uh, a local ISR or whatever other tasks they might need. I don't know if Wagner has anybody trained to use them or how easy those small drones are to use. Maybe they're pretty easy. I don't know. The larger ones though are a little more training involved, and that's probably uh, something that the Russian military would provide them by support. So Wagner themselves typically light infantry. They're not really going to have them, but that doesn't mean they would not necessarily occupy the base and support the Russians if they wanted to put drones there, or even the Chinese. There's all kinds of ways this could go. So yeah, the, the coup, back when it happened, what it means for Africa-U.S. partners is the United States Institute for Peace, which has a nice big building in Washington, D.C., but if they're supposed to be the Institute for Peace making peace possible, they all ought to lose their job because they're really not doing such a hot job of making peace possible. Um, this is back in July 27th when it happened, and Victoria Newland went down there to try to negotiate things, and they basically told her, hit the road, fatty, we don't want your money, use it to sponsor a weight loss program for Victoria Newland. I can't believe they actually said this, but I've heard it in more than one place. Yep, they did. So I, I guess she doesn't like it when Niger has a coup, but you know when it's a U.S.-sponsored coup in Ukraine and she gets to pass out cookies later on, that's okay with her. So do as I say, not as I do. Uh, and as far as the immediate aftermath, the Pentagon was saying, oh yes, we're going to keep U.S. troops in Niger, even as coup leaders show no sign of relenting. They're going to keep those bases there. They thought it would go away. This is written back August 8th, so what, a week ago or so. And of course, they had much confidence because you know the generals, one of them actually went to Fort Bragg. Well, they don't call it Fort Bragg anymore. They call it Fort Moore. Mm -hmm. uh, Bamu was trained at Fort Benning, Georgia, now renamed, uh, oh sorry, Benning, not Bragg, is now Fort Moore. It's hard to keep up with this stuff. He attended the National Defense University. These exchanges they do with foreign officers in America, you know, the, the whole point of it is political. They're hoping that these guys will eventually become uh, in positions of power and they'll be more favorable to the U.S. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it's not as if they're getting any high-speed secret training, or even if they are, that they're held to a standard where they have to pass something in order to graduate. I've seen them through the U.S. Special Forces course. Some of them are okay, some of them are completely incompetent, but whatever, they're mostly decent guys, and they know their place. They go through, they learn what they can. They graduate, they walk across the stage, they go home, they celebrate how great it was, 
and so forth. Believe it or not, when I went through, um, there was actually a Russian major in my course. Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it, but this was back in the early 2000s, and there was a Russian major out there on land navigation, and yeah, he cheated, but that's okay. Uh, it was hopefully the beginnings of um, a normal relations with Russia, which obviously didn't go very far. But there were other officers from Turkey. One guy from Turkey was pretty squared away. Uh, somebody else from Djibouti and so on and so forth. At Benning, I'm a little surprised because typically what's down there is, uh, well, they used to have Central and South American officers going through the School of the Americas, which I think they might have changed the name of it. There were so many South and Central American officers going through there. We called it the School of the Julios, and I'm not kidding. Uh, but they got a bad rap for supposedly teaching torture techniques there, and I'm not sure what the current status of that school is. Anyway, this is how it was, and this is how it's going. U.S. rating plans to evacuate drone bases if necessary under Niger's new junta, commander says. Well, I have a feeling it's probably going to be necessary. Will they actually do it completely and in time? Don't know. Could be weeks longer before U.S. officials will announce any kind of decision to evacuate. So weeks or much longer means they've got time to move this stuff out. I, I really hope they don't wait till the last minute to recover all that equipment. Um, I mean, they spent $200 million building these bases. It was supposed to be $100 million. And then it wound up being $200 million, and it's $30 million a year to maintain them. That's where we are with that. Um, I don't know anything beyond watching to see you know, news reports of, of troops and planes packing things up. But right now, um, it doesn't look like negotiations worked. The military junta is still in charge in Niger. All that money, all that training, everything we tried to do, and of course all the terrorism that we wound up creating through our stupid toppling of Gaddafi, um, this, is where it's, this is where it's led. You know, yet another wasted pile of money. Maybe we ought to just get the message and stop messing around with Africa. Anyway, if you like this video, please click like, and we'll talk to you soon.